All right, achievers, today I'm gonna to bring some exciting news, a really awesome tip that was actually brought to us by a fellow achiever. So case in point, if you are doing something in your workflow and you think others would benefit, send me an email. It's something that I'm sure others are gonna to wanna to hear if you enjoy using the feature. Today, guys, I'm gonna answer a question that so many people so commonly ask us. Can I synchronize my Apple, Google, and Outlook calendar with my digital planner? And today I'm gonna to give you a way to connect those scheduling apps to your digital planner. That is gonna be something that I actually feel works. But before I get into that, I'm gonna talk a little bit about something. When I look at scheduling and I look at planning, I think of things totally different. When I think of scheduling, I think of Apple, Google, Outlook calendars. When I think of planning, I think of the Key to Success Planner. What is the difference? Well, let me tell you it real quick. These applications over here, they're blocking off time. They're creating notifications in your life. They're not providing you a place where you can jot down ideas, thoughts, make plans, sketch out what the process is, and take notes. That's what a planner does. A planner allows you to take the vision that you have to create goals and outline action steps that you can implement into your daily life. That is going to bring you success. That is going to get you to where you want to be. These scheduling apps just block off time. And at the end of the week, you ask yourself, ah, did I make progress? Did I achieve what I want to do? Yeah, you attended a lot of meetings, you met, went to a lot of places, and you probably marked off some things that you needed to do as far as tasks, but they didn't help you through the process of what your plans really intended for. And that's what the Key to Success Planner does. Today, we're gonna to hopefully bring those two together a little bit so you can have a connection between your scheduling and your planning. So stay with me. Okay, you can see we are in Outlook right here and you can see a meeting with Tim Gray sunk over to our Outlook, which was in our iCal and it was my work account. Now, if I jump over to OneNote, you can see I don't have any appointment there at this time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the four o'clock hour and then go over here and choose the calendar. And I'm gonna right click on this and hit send to OneNote. And that's gonna give me a pop-up. I have the option of sharing with notes. I'm gonna take my own, which is what I'm doing in OneNote. And then it's gonna have this next pop-up window. And this pop-up window is going to indicate where you want to save it. So in this case, I'm on my current page, so I can go ahead and put it there. But if I wanted to say, put this in a different date in my planner, I could go into a different date and choose a different date. But in this case, it's really easy for me just to use my current page that I'm on and then go ahead and hit OK. Now you're probably gonna get this window on the second time you connect an event to it. So you can connect multiple events to a single calendar page or it'll go ahead and hit continue adding. And at this point, it's gonna add in this information. So first off, I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy some, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete some of these things that I don't feel are relevant. And I'm going to go ahead and go right to here. And then I'm going to choose to take that out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this and then go down here where the four was and bring that in there. Now, if you're using our planner, one thing that's really nice is all the text, the lines. So I could go ahead and put this meeting is at daily grind that isn't something I added in my actual um, iCal location, which that being said, I might wanna go ahead and add that or make that modification. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here. This is gonna open up my event and I'm just gonna go ahead and put in daily grind. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and close. So there you have it. I opened up iCal and you can see right there daily grind is an add it to my phone. Well, let's just say I want to go ahead and now move that time. Well, another thing, I go back to Outlook or back to OneNote, and let's just say I wanted to move that time to say 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock, because that is when I'm going to enjoy coffee better. I'm gonna drop that right in there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit, click the link, and this time I'm gonna change the time to 10 a.m. And then hit save and close will allow that to go ahead and sync over for a minute. And while we're doing that, 
You can also click this text and you can choose highlight and this will give you the option to kind of make a color block. I really like to add color blocking to my planner just so I know if it's like a work event, if it's a task, if it's a meeting. In this case, it's going to be a meeting, so I'm gonna make it yellow. And you can see that that is in yellow. If that extended for a longer period of time, I could hit return and I could return down a couple lines and then just draw a line across um, my page. And that kind of gives me a little bit more of you know, an indentation of how long this meeting really actually is in the event that it was a longer period of time. So let's just go back to our Outlook. And we now see that the time is here uh, at 10 o'clock, as we said. And let's go ahead and pull up our phone. So I'll open up our phone and look at that. The time right there has moved to 10 o'clock. So to me, this is really powerful. And I'm gonna show you one more thing because sometimes we have calendar events that are coming in that we're not creating on our phone. So now we have this event here that's not labeled. We're gonna open that event up. We're gonna add a name to it and we're just gonna make this travel to Wasa. Say that a few times. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit save and close. Now this was an event that was populated in our calendar from a connected service. We're gonna go ahead again and just send to OneNote. We're gonna create our own notes and we're gonna wait for that window to pop up. And there you go, Monday, hit OK. Continue adding. And then there is our calendar event. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead, pull this section out. And I like to remove all this information just to clean it up a little bit. And I'm going to pull this right here at the 12 o'clock hour and there you have it. And then I'm going to just make that one there, in this case, an orange, so you guys can see the difference. So there you guys have it. That is a way, and we're gonna call it connecting your Apple, Google, and Outlook calendars to your planner in OneNote. It's kind of bi-directional, right? Because we're able to edit in OneNote the time and information by simply clicking on that click here link and that pulls up our Outlook and allows us to make those modifications. And then those modifications will sync over to our other devices. To me, that is really powerful because now I have the ability, if I wanna go a step further, so say with this meeting here, I wanna go ahead and add a meeting page. So I'm gonna jump into my planner and I'm gonna jump in here and I'm just gonna put down meeting with Tim Gray and I'm gonna copy a link to that page and hit copy link to page. Go back to my appointment here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just right click and hit paste. And now that hyperlink is there and I'm just gonna change that to meeting notes. And what's really cool about this now is now I have my meeting notes hyperlinked to my calendar day. So by clicking on the meeting icon, it's gonna open up my meeting notes. Now your planner in OneNote acts as a place that not only can index your schedule and connect all of your important documents that you can use for planning, taking notes, but now you have a central location where really you can bring in your schedule and make plans for your life. And that is what the Key to Success Planner is all about. And we're happy to bring this to you guys. I'm excited. If you learned one thing, please do me a favor hit the like button, share it with others, subscribe to our channel if you like information, tech updates, product information about digital planning. We bring it all to you here. And if you have any questions, go ahead, hit the comments, myself or somebody else in the community, I'm sure will answer them. And if you wanna learn more about our planner, go ahead, check out our website. We have free training on the site. There's tons of product information and you can even start a chat with us. Guys and gals, Lord willing, I hope to see you guys in the next video. I hope this tip was good for each of you.